Hi guys, Rob here again at ASFC Chemistry. So don't forget you can tweet us, ASFC underscore chemistry, if you have any specific questions or topics you'd like me to go over. But I'm just going to put a little bit of attention at the moment on a molecule of water. Since I spent so much time putting this molecule together, I thought I'd at least make a second video about it. The first video was about polar molecules and polar bonds, so you need to make sure you check that out next if you haven't done already. Now, the reason I wanted to look at this molecule of water is because water gives rise to a very special type of intermolecular force between molecules of itself and anything else which can also give a rise to this special kind of intermolecular force. The intermolecular force I'm of course referring to is hydrogen bonding. So how does a hydrogen bond start? Well, the OH bond is a very polar bond. The reason it's a very polar bond is because the oxygen here, the red atom in my structure, this is a very electronegative element. And so it withdraws the electrons very much more towards itself. And so this becomes a very delta minus atom. And the hydrogen is left very delta plus. So that means the hydrogen is having its electrons in this bond pulled far away from itself. What that means is this hydrogen will then be attracted towards another oxygens, or it can be a nitrogen or a fluorine, those three elements only specifically, it can be attracted to those atoms lone pair. So if there was another water molecule nearby next to this one, as there often is, then the lone pair from that oxygen is going to be attracted towards this very delta positive hydrogen. Now that attraction of that delta plus from here and the delta minus from that oxygen and its lone pair is called the hydrogen bond. Now it's called a hydrogen bond, but it's not actually a bond. You have to be very careful in the exam because you don't want to trip up and say the bonds break when water melts or boils because they don't. The hydrogen bonds break or loosen, the covalent bonds stay intact. Hydrogen bonds are an intermolecular force. So top tip for whenever you refer into them is refer to them as H-bonds and then you'll never make a mistake or get caught out.